a lot of, like I'm actually surprised they didn't take any of this. We're actually gonna be getting money for it. Nice. Not bad. We just need one more or two clans and we're gonna be good for a rebellion. Unfortunately, that's impossible to get in. There's gonna be another big army coming this way. In a matter of seconds. I mean, this is ain't this ain't even fair at this point. Look at it. Look at that. Jesus. Uh, so I hate scab skirmishers. I hate skirmishers with all my li with all my being, and plus I hate uh, I hate cavalry skirmishers even more. So that's a no go. Engaging a party, right? Let's go here real quick, see if we can uh, dump any prisoners in there. And I'm freaking surprised they're not, they don't have an army coming this way already. The difference is, uh, well, the skir skirmisher cab actually does something. Their normal cab does fuck all in this game, apparently. Like literally, they, they, they just do, they're doing, they, I mean, they kind of cycle charge, but they don't cycle charge. If you tell them, if you bring them around the back of the enemy lines and you charge these ar archers, they they just like run through them, maybe kill two or three guys, and that's it. So it's literally better to have skirmish cab at least, not cab at all. The only reason I have cavalry in my forces is because they're the noble units. The Valkyries. Otherwise, I'm I wouldn't have any. Yeah, the only like uh, only problem is if. Look at that! They actually went to besiege this. Interesting. Because this. This is part of a clan that wants to join my faction as well. Hmm. I would like to take... However that's pronounced. At the epic city for myself. That's not gonna be enough. Let's grab everyone we can actually and see what happens. Maybe we can snag it. Like the AI for Skirmisher Cav is a lot better than the regular Cav. A lot better. You only have 400 in there. Only 400, right? Look at that. Look at this shit. Let's go kill them real quick. Then we're going to save the castle over there. Three hundred plus renegades. <laughs> oh, God. Like, they are actually gonna, like, go around the enemy and skirmish. Well, like, you would see the enemy AI skirmish in Total War games, I guess. You, you do, do, the, do the skirmishing thing, you know? And I will show you what the cav does, but uh, this might not be the best of uh, 
you know, displays. No, 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 shit. Ah, fuck it. Look at that, they just run off into the sunset. Well, uh, night. They kind of do something, but if you look at the kill feed, most of the kills are from the archers. I mean, sure, they might be good if you amass like a hundred, hundred of them or more. But even then, um, since you can't have a shield, two shields, so they have, they don't have a shield on their backs and in their hand, they pretty they go down pretty quick. Enemy archer fire or javelins, or anything basically thrown, ranged. Hey, you fucking morons. I mean, apparently they're only... Uh, I guess it's the same like in Total War. They're only good for hunting down enemy... routing units. That's... That's about it. Nothing else. Which is unfortunate, you know. You know how how much we love Prophecy of Pandora Cav and Warband, Swadi and Knights and all that. Can you guys join up? Danos the Bull died of old age. Who the fuck are you? Is he one of mine? No, I have no freaking clue. I gotta level up at some point as well. Um, I guess tactics. But I will do like a horse lord playthrough at some point, even though I hate him as you know, to all my being. I'm not sure. I might actually do it with a eagle rising mod. We're gonna be the attacker here, I think. The eagle rising mod, so we're gonna have the Scythians instead of the like you know Kuzites. Which, I mean, basically they're the same, they're just a little bit more buffed up, I see. Mm, they have a shitload of cav again. You know, you think you're fighting the Azurai, right? You find the amount of cav they got. Actually, just bunch up behind the infantry a little bit. I mean, that's the idea. I'm gonna do that at some point. I'm just not sure when. I can want to. I want to see a couple more updates to the, you know, the way that the horse AI works. This side, actually, this side actually might be good for us. Yeah, this might be perfect, to be honest. We can sneak up on the enemy and surprise bitch him. Okay, they do have lancers. Cataphracts, right.
And uh, my cap is even buffed up, buffed up by captains as well, and they're still shit. Unfortunately. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get there in my back to the arch is not the brightest of ideas, right? This is going to be a slow march to the enemy. Actually, let's like, tell him to get here. Get the archers like there. Now, if I could only find the middle ground, right? Not getting shot at. Yeah, do it like this. And another thing, like the like the cav divisions or groups. It's for some reason, they like uh, switch troops around, like transfer troops around all the time, which makes sense. Never mind, their infantry is charging us. That's. I mean, works for me. Right, these guys have crossbowmen as well. Shit. Look at that, even though we don't number them, they're gonna. Well, our infantry is gonna win out, definitely. Their archers are a pain in the ass. So the air is a little bit smarter, so they actually block. Line is kind of winning out, kind of. Let's do. It. Let's be a little bit smarter and just do this. when reinforcements come in. You always think the game's crashed. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We have a clear shot at them. Plus, like getting a hit in on a shield, uh, an enemy with shield is almost like impossible at this point. Okay, maybe don't charge into the spearmen. That might be a good idea, right? Charge if archers can charge. I think that's all of them. We should be good. 
looks at these motherfuckers. I can't play in third person, no freaking way. In first person, what did I say? I have no freaking clue at this point. The attack angle on the sword is kind of interesting. Again, I am using it two-handed, maybe that's why. See, this is the new way. You just wait for them to come to you. Six losses, not bad, not bad. Could have been worse. Morale still pretty decent considering. to actually hold the settlement if you take it. The epic one. Oh shit. Can't hold any of those. Hmm. Might be the time for an upgrade, right? Now we want to use a Sparta, we have a two-handed sword. I mean, I would use the kite shield, but... Uh, round one there just looks better. Large bag of Highland throwing axes. Actually do the same amount of damage. They are... Ooh, nice. An upgrade. Maybe I should check these a little bit more often. Let's see, anything else? That fits a little better, even though it's not Viking-ish. That a fucking piece of shit ran away as well. Right, I did say I was gonna besiege this. Uh, probably not now. We get a faction, at least. Okay, we did, but we don't actually have enough. It seems that it's the same two guys who actually join us in here. So I might not be... The other ones might be too loyal to the king, actually, it seems. Let's give this guy, these guys a little bit of breathing room to recruit some units real quick. We don't see anything besieged. Oh, God. I think both of the who the hell is besieging this? Oh, one of them, never mind. Yeah, this might be the ideal time to start a civil war when we're at war on two fronts. 
The thing is, uh, I don't really know what's gonna happen. Are we gonna stay at war with all the factions or not? I mean, I hope not. But we'll suck ass. Because we would be the easier target then. And then not buy or recruit. Oh my god, is there a city that doesn't have Valkyries? Or a village that doesn't have Valkyries in it? Yeah, there's a pretty big army defending something. Good. They're doing something at least. Let's grab the axe when those are the berserkers. Uh, Valkyrie. Oh, let me see. No, not. Well, I do have some in the party, right? No, no, nothing. So, these ones turn into heavy cav. But they just, they just got wrecked. I mean, they're not as heavy as the Imperial ones. And the Kuzai... Ezrai or Kuzite ones. But they're pretty good considering the stats and the armor they use. The only problem is, uh, like I said, they, you have to amass a shitload of them for them to actually kind of work. And even then, you've seen how easy they just get wrecked by everything. And these guys are losing troops as they're going up there. Hmm. Actually, this might be, might be the ideal time to take some of these for myself, since they shouldn't have that much in, in the way of garrisons. Currently fighting an enemy. Well, stop it. Look at that faction. Uh, one of the clans already left there. I guess the only way I can get them to be friendly with me is to like... Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, marry them off, but I didn't go with the story campaign. My brother and my... Yeah, my brother... Brothers and sister? Yeah, I want to let them fill up a little bit. Just a little bit. Ooh. Ah, we need to do that individually. Ooh, we could actually do that. No, not him. Uh... Ah, fuck. Ain't gonna work. I need to remember all their names and send them a message. So I think you can make them uh, recruit troops from... Uh... Uh, what's their face? Uh... Yeah, 52 here. Let's call in a couple of guys. You can make them uh, pick up troops from castles. Castle garrisons. I think you can, at least. I'm gonna auto-resolve this. There's no point in fighting this. They only have 54 uh, garrison units in there. Militia as well. No, oh, never mind. It's actually a garrison. Could have gone worse. Mm, let's get rid of that one. Show mercy, I guess, and the. Uh, sure, let's grab it for myself. What would be cool if I can give it to a specific clan? Give away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Let's see, settlements, oh, castle, he definitely didn't join me. What about you? Oh, god damn it. 
Oh, these are the guys that lost everything. Sure, let's give it to them. The, I think that clan held the... The stuff here. You got this and that. This and that. That and this. Look at these motherfuckers. You want to besiege it immediately. You know what? I'm going to go take a quick piss break. Oh, never mind. I'm going to end the stream soon. Dridlish is going to stream. Drid is going to stream soon as well. well. I don't know what he's... Is he streaming a paradox or uh, underrail today? Catch him! Ash, catch him! Come on! You can do it. There we go. Nice. Uh, it's funny to me how well his uh, his fisting only strat actually worked. I mean, he's really getting lucky with, lucky with stuns and all that. Why, why would he spawn in, in arrow shot? Also, I got to like watch him play a game that was made in, you know, in, in the Balkans, Yugoslavia. Because, you know. Of course I do. gonna have some mm -mm -mm. they might have a one reinforcement way of spawning in and I do always forget like these are Valandians and look at look at my cat look at oh my god oh Jesus Christ yep they're fucking dead most of them anyway these guys have crossbowmen And it was easy, like, uh, with the last playthrough with the Romans, because we can provoke every enemy to attack us. Yeah, he's a little bit smarter now. Look at it. The cab doesn't really do much, if you look at it. I mean, they get a couple of kills, but... It's really underwhelming, like you're playing Total War, Warhammer at least. Cavs yeah, pretty, pretty shit in that. Unfortunately. Plus, at some point I did like leave them on the enemy crossbowmen like this, and they just got wiped. In, in melee, not like in, uh, you know. They didn't, weren't even getting shot. Oh my god, they got so many crossbowmen. I don't know why I'm surprised that's, the, that's their thing. Stop shoot us. This is bad, they're actually starting to shoot. Mm, at the Sook, I guess we'll see each other on the grid st stream in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna end this after this battle. Probably. Yeah, I've been online for three hours. Well, give or give or take. Yeah. Funny, I do say like the AI is a little bit smart, and what the fuck are they doing here? 
Yeah, their infantry is actually getting to him. Okay, this I don't like. The infantry and archers putting uh, the infantry is putting up into two waves. That's not good. three kills i'm satisfied all right yeah he's gonna do some stupid shit now we're gonna retreat it into the woods Let's make another companion of the Nordic persuasion. Even though he's not gonna be that good, but we I think we're gonna need another uh, how much points does he have? I'm gonna look at that in a moment. I think we're gonna need to wait till they get a ton of kills in battle. Before I make any of them a companion. That's not very good. Not very good at all. This guy is a beast. He can do anything. Now nah, let's not go with helmet. This one's decent enough. That's a shield. It's a fucking toy. Mm, let's see. They do get, they get do get four more damage, but uh, there's three in the stack. Well, let's stick with what we got. get them worry for well i mean this is you know really freaking good but uh, <laughs> would have been better if you got it uh, up more but anyways like i said now here's hoping the fraction faction thing actually works out for us and we get someone else to support us we can actually like form a kingdom and all that or se secession the one I like to do it through a mod because I want to see how that works. I do have a save file which I have enough support, but the positioning of the clans that's gonna, gonna support, yeah, like Bribai, Rib, these two, and this, which was taken, oh, wonderful. Oh, right, we're at war. Oh, shit. Apparently, yes. Well, as you can tell, I'm not really... ...assistant with streaming. Like I was like, uh, before. I streamed Warband on Twitch for a while. I was getting like 10, view 10 viewers to 20. 
most of the time. But then again, I was streaming like every day those days. Let's up to CSGO. Won the um, trouble. What the f Right, so I'm hoping our guys get wrecked so we can actually fall, you know, click the button here. I think that was the idea. We do have an army though. What what the fuck was the what the fuck was the point of it? See how much troops they have over there. Alright, we took one of these, if I recall. We fought a bunch of battles usually. It's usually how it goes, yeah. Let's see. When the hell did okay. How the hell did they get four hundred garrison troops here this fast? Jesus Christ. Alright. That's so fucking stupid. Why can't you call in troops while you're in a siege? That makes no freaking sense. I think they made some poor choices these, these days. The changes they made in like the last, well, the last patch, 1.7.0. Was there another patch? Let me just check. Or something at least. No, last hotfix was 24th of February. Not long ago. Maybe I should go for the castle first, because it has less troops in it. We're probably gonna have a like big fuck off army run into me as well. Most likely. Okay, they only have ballista ballistas. Let's build a couple of fire oranges and then just attack them. I'm not gonna sit there destroy the walls. There's not that much in the in the city. Well, I mean it's decent considering how it changes the troop trees. Makes it like I like the fact that they split this up. Even though, like, the only difference here is these are more heavily armored. They didn't want to go for these. Although they don't get any throwing weapons. Well, then, two handed axe. Oscar. Sword. Some type. Although the, the, the fact that they have a horseman in general is bad, I think. You don't think it. Well, I mean, kind of raiders, okay, sure, but like horse archers, not really. The Valkyries are good, but um, Kev in general and Benlord sucks ass, so maybe they would have been better if it's the cavalry was any good in this game. Which one it ain't. I mean, I like it. I'm playing it, am I? It's decent. I was gonna play the, the Norseman Invasion, but that one wasn't updated for a long while. We're going for this with this one. I'm also gonna do the Tessagin mod next, I think. Yeah, well, that's probably gonna be the next one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with the gunpowder version of it, of or just you know vanilla samurai and all that. We'll see.
Nice shot. I mean, it would be nice if they could actually, like, wreck the walls, destroy them outright. Yeah, okay, spread out the archers a little bit. Uh, let's see. That fucking didn't work. What the fuck's happening with the horse's lasso? I mean, like I said before, like we're still in the early, early stages of modding for this game, so... You can't expect too much out of the mods. Maybe in like a year or two. We'll see some, some like bigger overhaul mods. Like the old realms mod, which is more or less based on the Caladic, uh, Caladic, Caladia Awakens, the one that made one, uh, the one that has a spin off of uh, the, the Roman troops as well. Okay, they shouldn't do that much damage to me. Mm, kind of. Am I not holding my shield? What? Let me refresh your surgery. I got a little. Well, basically, all, all. I can't remember. They not. Uh, they didn't know. Uh, no. Uh, no the hell they fixed sieges guys they fixed it uh, yeah the nordic factions always had like a bunch of drawing weapons even like in uh prophecy of pando the fears win their skirmishers were just it's 50 50 yeah you're gonna get the ones with the crossbows or the ones with the drawing weapons but i'm And this is with the mod that actually like uh, makes the sieges, the uh, pathfinding for sieges a little bit better too. Oh my god. The game literally forces you to destroy walls at this point. You don't have to watch that happen. Maybe like later on I'll... Once I finish this campaign, I'll amass a bunch of uh, Valkyrie as Valkyries as heavy cav. So we'll see how, how they do on the battlefield. Versus, I don't know, the Empire or something like that. Alright, let's take all of these so we can put them in the garrison. Three piercing damage. Line that. We do want these castles and the city up there to get like. Okay, look at that. Our guys is actually besieging it. We do want these back to the clan that was supporting us in the factions. That would be nice. Because then we at least have someone on this side, not in the middle of the enemies. Entry. Oh my god, we can donate prisoners. Amazing. I'm waiting to see like a big overhaul mod like Prophecy of Pandora was. And we have a bunch of those in, in the works. I mean, you've seen them on Jackie Fish's channel and Resonant. Star Wars one looks good as, as well. We know I never like shooting in these games. Well, don't need troops at the garrison, yes. Let's 
Let's see if we can help these guys out in the siege. Oh, never mind. They're getting. Oh, shit. Oh, I fucking wish I can tell how, man how many troops are there. A bit too many, I see. The mercenaries, god damn it. I think we're gonna need a bit more to beat that actually. Unless we can get them to attack us in like a good position. We have main distinguished service. I have distinguished service on in this playthrough. Where is it? Where is it? I am blind apparently. Yeah, there it is. Distinguished service. I am using it. And I did update it so it's not as OP as the last one was. So like it, uh, how much skill they're gonna get it depends on how many kills they got in the battle. Let's wait for them here to start attack and maybe get some more... Uh... Let's see, 17 hours away. Mm, hopefully it's gonna be enough for me to stop them from taking it back. need to keep checking this. Okay, let's look at this. Which one is that again? Okay, see, see, this is a little bit better. Even though we can't get to these guys, it's gonna be good if, like, we split the empire in half. Something like that. We will need like one more faction, hopefully the one like that holds these areas once we take it. Where check is not gonna fall because it's king is from the king. Look at what? Can I not click? Okay, there we go. See, that's fucking stupid. Like, why did this guy not join the army, then attack him with us? Because, like, I, I'd get it if we were behind him, but we were in front of him. I did get Distinguished Service, uh, I think. Isn't there? I'm not sure. I can't remember if Distinguished Service is implemented in some other mod as well. If that's what you're talking about. I'm going for more flavor in these. Unlike the vanilla factions, to be honest. I never liked them in any game. <laughs> I guess that's what makes me a PC gamer, right? I need mods. Mods are where it's at. Should be on the defending side here. Although these are Valandians. So let's move up a little bit. They're gonna have a shit ton of crossbowmen. Got a shit ton of cat. Well, I'm only 50 cav, that's not bad. Could be worse. The, the fact that the bolts are on, are on fire, I mean, that's fucking stupid, but it really looks nice. 
And you think that the Batanian Fions are gonna win against these, right? You might like straight up shoot out. You sure that look nice? Right, I'm gonna need to make another couple companions for leading troops and another couple of them for uh, their, inf their archers are in front of the infantry, are they? Another couple to get, uh, be governors in the city. their infantry to move forward and I'm gonna get the cab with me to charge in. Or maybe I should knock out their cab first, right? Yeah, now the problem is they're gonna get reinforcements spawning in right on their in position. Maybe I should have moved back, right? I'm the defending force. to melee range. That's gonna work out for you. Archer, move! The question is where the fuck's their reinforcement point? This map. I, I, got, I hope to god it's not behind my infantry. That's gonna suck ass. Enough of you. Oh, why did I do that? I saw it coming as well. I do like the fact that the mod changed this. They actually like... I'm never gonna stop praising it as well. They don't just like mash up one like it. Oh. Oh, freeze. Okay, that thing good. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna watch my infantry just turn their backs to the enemy crossbowmen. So, we're gonna do this. Man, the auto resolve is better than in Total War. And I mean like a Rome Total War and Medieval. Right, I did say I'm gonna let them go. So hopefully, at some point, we can uh, get the peace back, uh, peace agreement with them. Or no, ally, allies. We can become allies with them. Could be possible. With a mod. Should be able to grab. However, that's pronounced. Let's go for a couple more axemen. Uh, well, a like glaive would be better. But uh, if you're playing on the hardest difficulty, one arrow can kill you. Or one spear hit can kill you. 
so it's definitely better to go with a glaive and get so many kills with it like if you watch my first uh, eagle rising game uh, playthrough i was using a glaive at the end of that we were having like a hundred kills versus the kuzites and the other and the Azerai like easily the problem is when you get shot on the hardest difficulty those so I personally say you have to use a shield if you're playing on the hardest difficulty there's no way around that unless you want to hide behind your troops all the time and just command And like be an archer or something. Okay, there's another army behind our ass. Nice. And it's gathering up troops. How about you go, come and join me? Come on. Right, we can't do that. But like yeah, having a uh, double uh, two-handed weapon so you can cleave more enemies is so good. Either on, uh, on foot or on the horseback. Especially if you're got, like going through the infantry lines, swinging the, the weapon. Or you can actually use the mod. Uh, options... You can use better combat. You can uh, have slice through on. Momentum is just after each hit. Enabled speed. Wheel. Yeah, so you can turn this on and just slice through as many enemies as you can. With a weapon. We really want to go that way. I mean, you can definitely make the game more fun with mods. Even like battle loot is nice, but uh, it be you know, money becomes just too easy to get at that point. Well, this uh, could be worse. like the fact that both uh, entrances are like right next to each other here stop shooting me I'm giving no orders come on Ain't fair. Move. Here you can make your life easier and just play with the RTS camera mod if you can actually get it to run. I think it's like uh, the main one was discontinued, but someone made uh, like a new version they're working on. I couldn't get it to work, so I'm not using it. And if, it, if I did make it work, like I would just play in the RTS camera mode all the time. Probably. You reckon uh, if you want to 